Hello sports fans and happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of the Ocean Star Sports Show. I'm your host, sports reporter, Dominic Polio. I have two great highlights for you guys for this week and we're going to jump right in with Point Borough Ice Hockey. That's right, I got back out to the Ocean Ice Palace as the Panthers hosted the Brick Township Dragons. Borough won the game. If you weren't there, it was a lot of fun. Check out the highlights. The Point Borough Ice Hockey team was hungry for a win and Brick Township learned that the hard way. The Panthers skated to a 10-1 victory over the Dragons at the Ocean Ice Palace last Friday. Chris Miller hit first for Burrow, corralling and scoring a rebound. Next up was the duo of John Callender and Corey Campbell. Callender maneuvers swiftly through the defense and dumps to Campbell who finishes with the score. Matt Kimak gets in on the action with a rocket that somehow reaches the back of net and a quick burrow score follows as the Panthers were up 4-0 after 1. The onslaught did not stop in the second as Eric Dahl sets himself up for Burrow's fifth goal. Watch again as he positions the puck with his skate and finishes with the score. Burrow scored again and Brick answered with its only goal of the contest which looks like it actually came off a of Burrow deflection. Regardless, the Panthers weren't done scoring. It was Miller again who beats the tough angle and the goalie for his second of the game. Then came quite possibly the easiest goal in Burrow history outside of an empty net score. The brick goalie somehow gets turned around and Will Harrington collects the puck and finishes with a goal. With an 8-1 lead, Burrow added two more goals before the end of the game. Brett Nelson collects the puck and makes a beautiful move to slip a defender before going top shelf. A gorgeous move by Nelson and one more Burrow score seals the 10-1 win over Brick Township. A nice decisive win for the Panther ice hockey team as they continue on with their season. We're going to transition from ice hockey to Point Beach Boys basketball. In the midst of a four-game losing streak, the Garnet Gulls found the will and a way to pick up a win. It was a home game against St. Rose and it did not disappoint. Here are the highlights. The Point Beach Boys basketball team broke a four-game skid with a win over St. Rose Wednesday night. The goals trailed throughout the first half but rallied in the second for the 54-49 victory. The Purple Roses opened with a 9-2 run which Trevor Covey was able to eventually break up with this layup. Beach ended up behind 11-6 after one and the two teams exchanged buckets in the second quarter as St. Rose kept the lead. Before the half though, Danny Fraunheim snuck in a basket to keep St. Rose within reach 25-19. The third quarter was where the goals crept back into the game. Fraunheim knocked down two free throws to briefly tie at 25 before the Purple Roses notched two of three at the line for the 27-25 lead. The two teams exchanged possessions before Chris Pena found an open three in the corner for the lead. Beach never looked back and pressed defensively and offensively to put together a 19-2 run and separate from the Purple Roses. By the end of the third quarter, the Garnet Gulls were holding a 40-35 lead. The final quarter was all about rebounding as the Gulls reeled in the majority of the balls off the glass and kept finishing on the offensive end to stay out in front. St. Rose had trouble stuffing the lanes and Beach remained consistent at the charity stripe. The Purple Roses kept missing beyond the arc and Pena protected the rim for Beach. Beach gets the much needed win 54-49. Garnet goals are tough to beat when they're firing on all cylinders. With Danny Fraunheim pushing the pace and Chris Pena the one man SWAT team. Really, really tough to get a win against Point Beach. Congrats on breaking the four-game skid. Those are the only highlights I have for you guys for this week. Thank you for coming by and checking out the show. I hope you enjoyed it. But remember, there is always more to be read in the actual newspaper. So make sure you pick up today's copy of the Ocean Star. That is January 27th, 2017. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at Dom Polio. That's at D-O-M. P-O-L-L-I-O. -L -L You'll be getting updates, some big updates tonight as the Point Borough Wrestling Team hosts the Point Beach Wrestling Team in one of the most exciting wrestling matches of the year. A great crosstown rivalry, two great programs, great history, great coaches, great wrestlers. There's no better environment than the Battle of Point Pleasant. I'll be there. 
And if you can't make it in, because it's going to be packed, just follow me on Twitter. I'll give you guys some updates. As always, thank you for stopping by and checking out the show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you return next week. In the meantime, signing off for Star News Group, I'm Dominic Polio wishing you a happy weekend. P.S. I will also be at the Point Beach versus Point Borough boys basketball game tomorrow afternoon, and that's a tip-off scheduled for 1 o'clock. Updates on Twitter. See you guys later.